Howdy, homesteaders. We're going to the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference today. And I do realize that during our live, uh, I was saying it wrongly. I kept adding the word American in there. It's actually the uh, Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference 2019. And that's where we're going today. We are here at the conference. Uh, we just got here a little while ago. Uh, we really haven't had a chance to see a whole lot. We just started looking around. And so far, it looks like there's a lot going on. Uh, so maybe we'll give you a little taste of what's happening. And uh, uh, we're just going to enjoy the day. Sure. My name is Eric Oswald. My Indian name is East Yona, which means Little Bear. Uh, I'm from Cherokee, North Carolina. I deal with doing pottery, traditional pottery, pit fire pottery. I've done this for several years. I uh, learned this from my mother, uh, Charlie Jackson Oswald. Um, so here's a few pots here that you can look at and, and look at. Uh, and email address is littlebearpottery.com. I'm sorry, littlebearpottery at yahoo.com. All right. So, um... What kind of things do we have here? Uh, do you make pottery? Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah, so some of the pottery is what we call stamp pottery. Uh, just different types of pottery. Um, some of it is what we call burnished. It means I take a smooth rock and polish inside. Some of it is hand carved inside. Uh, some things are different. It's all open pit fire. So it's got different things. Different stamps, spots, uh, necklaces. Uh, just different, different designs that we do. It's all made out of clay. It's all done traditionally. Uh, no chemicals used, no nothing. It's all traditionally done through Cherokee culture. Uh, the brush they use, basically, once once they get the clay, um, I take it, take it to the house, work it up a little bit, design the kind of pot that I want. Uh, once it dries to a certain that I can work it, um, I will start designing stuff on it. Um, once it completely dries, I'll put it in a pit fire in the ground, cover it up, get the fire going. Once it gets done, it's a finished product. So some products are a little bit different than others. That's why some look a little different because the smoke changes the outcome of the pottery. It's all open pit fire, no, no, no kiln, uh, nothing commercial whatsoever. All right, that sounds great. That, that makes it more uh, true to tradition, right? Yes, it does. All right, plus it gives it that, uh, that look that you can only get from uh, an open fire. You're not going to get that from putting in a pottery oven. Correct.
Tennessee Crafts and Roy Haney, and he's going to teach us a few things. Well, howdy, first thing. What we work with very hard on the saw, we're a full functioning saw. We're working with young children, young folks, young adults, old adults, if you can come on, is how to take your farm. Now, your farm may only be one city lot, but it is your farm. It doesn't matter if it's a thousand acres or one half one quarter. But we're going to take it. And what I want you to do is I want to make your dream an engine. Everything that you do, I want you to operate it as if it was an engine. If you go out and you look at your garden and it's not producing any food, well, that's one cylinder of it. But what about producing habitat for the bees? That's going to give you honey later. What about uh, giving a smell to just when you sit down, you've had a rough day, and you sit right there and you relax. That's the engine that I'm going to work with. Now, I'm going to have to have you use your imagination a little bit. Okay. And we're going to get into growing and we're going to do some things of this nature. But first of all, he's going to focus down on one of our raised bed systems. Now, I'm not going to use this as a raised bed system. Go ahead and look at this as a lawn. Now, on your farm, on your yard, on whatever you have, this is the end of the log. Did you know that the center of this log is called the cant? The center of this log being a cant, when you sell that log to me, my Doyle scale takes this center out and gives it to me for free. This center is free. Now, we can go away from that and I'll go ahead. Okay, now, that I've worked with you that in the center of your log is the cant. So think about when you're looking at your little farm and you have a tree. Oh, okay. You cut that tree down. You bring that log to me. I will take the Doyle scale and I'll measure it and he'll tell me it has 32 feet in it. But the fact is, if I put it on my sawmill and I cut those, it those every green, thing, They are nice. Low grade, the center <laughs> is the low grade. And the high grade. And that in between, I will come up with probably 60 feet of lumber. So what I want you to do and this is something that at the farm we're going to be working some seminars we're going to be working we work with people every day on that is every time you touch something on your dream i want the value of that dream to double so if you take that log and it's just a standard grade log and i give you 45 cents a foot that's a standard uh cost for that 32 feet of lumber if you had me saw it up for you, I'm going to charge you 35 cents a foot to saw it, but you're going to get about 60 feet, let's call it 50 just to make sure. We're going to get about 50 feet of lumber. Well, out of that 50 feet of lumber, if we take 35 feet of that, it's a higher grade, and you can sell it for more than I paid you for that law and the saw bill. That's how it works, but you touched it one time. Now you've taken the center of that log called the camp that I wasn't going to even pay you for, and you cut it, and now I'm going to show you how to build mini barns. I'm going to show you how to build poop houses and greenhouses that a single person that can lift 30 pounds of weight and a battery uh, drill screw gun can build a complete greenhouse in order to make your garden a better engine. Stay tuned. We've got a lot of things coming your way. Make some nails.
Daisy King Farm. That's our YouTube channel. And then we have a little sew business called Naturally Made by Angela. And I am selling my coconut oil essential soaps here today at the Alright, so uh, I take it you make these soaps uh, yourself homemade. Uh, so uh, maybe explain some of the process about that. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a cold process. They call it cold process soap, and I make it with all natural ingredients. So that will be lye, lye water, coconut oil, and pure essential oils. That is basically it. Okay. All right. And so, I have about 13 different smells, I guess you could say, and then I also offer a couple of different uh, soap savers to make your soap last longer and stay dry. Okay, so for the different smells, you use like uh, essential oils, is that what it yes, is? Yes, I use plant therapy, pure essential oils. You can um, purchase the essential oils online from them. I like their company. It's a great company, and it's a good quality essential oil. I also I, see you got some other things here. Yeah. Uh, what are these little wooden things? Okay, so last year I made, I had a wood maker, uh, worker make these. They look like little uh, washboards. And what you can do is take a soap. When you uh, set it on here, it'll drain the water away from the soap. Because you want your soap to stay dry. You don't want it to get mushy. It also makes the soap last longer. So I've got this, but I've also got a new, there's different ones. And basically, if you want to look here, I'll show you how it works. So when your soap gets wet, and after you wash your hands, you're going you're gonna to put it back on here. The water will drip back into your sink or your tub or your shower. And then your soap will stay nice and dry. All right, that sounds really good. And what else do we have? So my sweet mother-in-law crochets and she makes all of these wonderful things for me. This is um, what I call a hand scrubby. has a place for your hand. You can go and uh, use your, you know, to wash your dishes in the shower. We also have chickens, we have round ones, we have small ones, lots of different shapes and sizes. You can, you can use these and then throw them in the washer and they're good to go. All right, that sounds great. And uh, where can someone get some of these things? Do they get them from your Etsy shop? Yes, we have an Etsy store, and it's called Naturally Made by Ange. I didn't have enough letters to go all the way with Angela, so Naturally Made by Ange. You can also find us on Facebook, Naturally Made by Angela. And then, of course, our Daisy King Farm page and YouTube channel.
you like it? Yeah. I'm Thanks. glad. Thanks.